this video is all about quadratic inequalities right so we are going to discuss anything concerning quadratic inequalities but before that uh the idea of a quadratic may be uh, anything anything that looks something of this nature or maybe something like this is that okay so maybe we are calling the we are naming these two things maybe a quadratic either this or this one right so you can think of maybe a, a, a basket handle right so if it, this is a basket or any bucket right so maybe if this is a basket so a handle a handle like this right so a handle so for this basket can be what can look like what a quadratic right so this is just what a very simple basket that we are having right anything that you can think of that looks similar to uh, uh, this one but why why is it that this thing is very important so maybe sometimes some of the manufacturer or you may think that if the handle extend up to this point of the basket it will be very easy to handle some also think that well, let's limit it to a certain point maybe mid there or somewhere here right that would be very easy to to handle depending on how you want it to work looks like now let's have a look at uh, a pure exams question and see how to tackle some of the problems relating to uh, quadratic inequalities according to the question uh, we are told to find uh, uh, the set of value of x that satisfy the inequality right so this is the inequality that we have we are having x squared and then plus or plus 3s plus 2 less than or equal to equal to zero so those are just a pure inequality so we are going to find the values of the x so that this inequality hold right? that is the simple thing okay for us to get a better understanding let's say this x is uh, something that uh, the material right so the raw material that you are going to use to make what uh, the handles of uh, the basket is that okay and that is the level so now the first step you have to do is, uh, is to solve everything here so we are going to name everything here with what uh, a different uh, variable so you may call everything here to be what uh, to be y right so everything that's the x squared and then plus or uh, 3s and then plus 2 less than or equal to uh, equal to zero so we are just renaming what everything that was on the left hand side of uh, this inequality now let's say you should find the values of the x so you are going to find the values of this thing how do you do that you first of all have to make sure that you solve uh, this inequality so there are so many ways of solving this uh, uh, expression here so this is a quadratic right so this is a quadratic expression or maybe equation or inequality so for you to solve this thing here you either use a factorization method or uh, completing of this curve maybe or uh, maybe by using the almighty formula but here we are going to use uh, a factorization if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel we have a ways of solving this quadratic uh, uh, equations or inequality step by step right? so the way of doing that is to just find the ac so the ac is just the number that is attached to the what, the x square here in this case is one and then the c is two right so a b and then c so we have one here three and then two there's a way of doing that so a quick one is that if you do this thing by factorization if you don't know how to do this make sure that you comment down in the comment section below for help right okay so if you solve this uh, quadratic uh, equation or inequality by factorization method you are going to have what uh, two different what factors that's the s plus one and then what s plus two so if you don't know how i got this thing just make sure that you comment down below Okay, now if you solve these two things, those are what you are going to get. Is that okay? Mm. Okay, now uh, uh, for you to plot, now these are the two factors that we had. So for you to draw the graph, for you to draw the graph, you need two things, right? You need the raw material and the finished product, right? So what I mean by that, you need what x and y, so x comma y. So these are the two points that you need to draw a very simple graph. So this is how the graph looks like okay for the bucket issue for simplicity we are going to use maybe numbers to demonstrate everything so that you know exactly where to end and then where to move on so let's go the line from the left to the right x right so the x here are the numbers that we are going to plug in and then from down to top will be what 
our y is that okay so this is a very simple a uh, cardinal or a plane that uh, i'm having right so that should be mathematical that is a cartesian plane right so the idea is that we should know exactly where we are going to and so now the line here will be our what y value right so, so now how do you get the x and the what and the y to plot our point so for you to have the x and y here you have to solve these two things right so you solve these two factors you are having what uh from here we are x plus one to be equal to zero this means that our x is what uh negative one right so x is what negative one and then for the second here straightforward x plus two that should be equal to zero it implies that x is what, uh negative so so these are the two points of the x that uh, we got right now how do you determine the values of the y of course we don't have any y here so we are going to replace everything on the left hand side here by y so we are replacing that's your x squared plus 3x plus 2 by y so meaning that if i put y here we are going to have y less than or equal to equal to zero right okay so let's have a y here so you have y to be less than or equal to equal to zero right remember we are just naming this expression here the quadratic equation here or maybe expression by what by y so all that we are trying to do is that if you draw the handles of that basket or the bucket it shouldn't uh go more than what this zero is that okay so you shouldn't go more than what this zero that is exactly what we are talking about so the bus the hundreds of that basket will be on this line right so it will be on this line so we don't want this thing to be what uh less than zero okay now let's see how to plot that point for you to plot any point as i said earlier on in this video we need two things we need x and then comma y all right so we need the sum of the points of what, x and then as well as some points of what, y of course we have the x to be negative one and negative two so how do you get your y how do you get a y in this case so if you s is equal to negative one we just need to plot this thing into uh, this expression right right or here to find the values of what, the y now we want to determine the values of uh, the y right so all that we are going to do we pick this x here and plug that into either here or here we are going to have the same answer so maybe this is just a simple one the reason why we are doing that is that we need these two points to plot the graph right so to know exactly where our curve will pass that is the only thing that we are going to look for so let's do that so if you pick the first part to be s to be equal to negative one so mean whatever you see the x here we are going to replace that by what negative one so from here and before that we have to turn this thing into a, an equation right so changing this one to equation we had a, uh you had a uh, x plus one and then s plus two to be equal to equal to zero so anything that we had here will be our y so if x is equal to negative one so meaning that here we are going to replace this x by what negative one plus one so of course here will be zero and then plus or negative one uh, plus two right so that should be equal to here should be zero right so zero must be like that of course it's equal to zero is that okay so that was just a straightforward word wait so if you keep on doing this mean that you are going to have zero so how do you determine the values of uh, the y now for you to know exactly where the uh, the y or the values of the y will be so you pick a different numbers other than these two numbers that we had after solving what the quadratic is that okay so that could be zero negative three uh, negative four and then maybe one uh, one and then two so any number apart from what this is so let's go for zero right so if you go for zero mean that if s is equal to zero we are replacing x here by what by zero so here you have a zero plus or one which is one everything multiplied by what zero plus two which is two so here we are going to have one multiplied by two which is equal to equal to two is that okay so x is equal to two uh, uh sorry y is equal to two when s is uh, zero so you had s to be equal to zero and then our y is equal to two, equal to two right so that is very very simple so here this line is uh, our x as if you normal this and starting from zero you had what one year and then two and then three and so on so here will be a negative one and then uh negative two and a negative three and then negative four and so on and so forth so let's plot the points so here we had a uh, if you choose s to be equal to zero we had a y to be to be two so if s is zero here we are going to have so let's name this as is here. we have one and then two and then three and so on and so forth so down here will be a negative one negative two negative three 
the negative four and so on and so forth depending on the graph that we are using but this is just a, a pure idea on how to plot the point so yeah let's plot this one so you have zero comma comma two so s is equal to zero uh y will be two so this is one point here right so if you want to plot these two people here so if s is equal to negative one of course we are going to have a y to be equal to zero right do you agree so we've already demonstrated that so if s is equal to uh, negative for our y here so we are going to move up and down so the y is zero so zero is just on this line okay if yes is still equal to negative one we still had uh, add zero so we, we are still here so let's pick a different point and see where exactly will be other than these three people right so maybe we may go for uh, we'll go for when x is equal to less than negative 3, right? So if s is equal to negative 3, we are going to plug in negative 3 into this expression. So meaning that we are having negative 3 plus or plus 1, negative 3 plus or plus 2. So here we'll give us of negative 2 and then multiply by this and this one will be a negative 1. So if you multiply this by this, that should give you a positive 2, right? So the point here is a uh, negative 3 comma 1 comma 2 right okay so if s is equal to negative 3 so here's a negative 3 where exactly is the 2 so to you don't go this way neither you go this way is that okay you move straight to top right top or down so in this case we are going top which is a positive 2 so negative 2 straight to a positive 2 somewhere here okay with this we can easily draw our the hundreds of all that basket so if this line here is the basket or the bucket that you are talking about the hand or uh, the handle of that basket will be somewhere passing this line right so this is just a simple curve right so a simple quadratic curve right so this is just simple how you can handle any uh, quadratic curve inequality don't for, forget to subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up if you gain some values from this video thanks for watching